In this video, we're going to dig into the appearance settings on the device. So you may notice that the background on your device does not look like mine. And that's because I have changed my background. So let's go look at those settings. Again, to get to settings, I can either select the app icon or I can go down to the battery and time location and get to settings that way as well by clicking on the settings icon. So lots of different settings. We're just going to talk about the appearance settings in this video. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says appearance. And the first thing we're going to go into is the wallpaper. So I'm going to click this here. And here's where there's a lot of different options to change the background of your screen. Um, I went with a solid color because I felt like the apps showed up more clearly on the solid color. Uh, your students are going to have the ability to change their backgrounds on their devices. If they find this setting, they'll be able to do it. So good modeling and rule setting around that. When is an appropriate time to change your background? Uh, do you need permission to change your background? Things like that. And for teachers at the beginning of the year, this is going to take some time to set up on each of your devices. So um, perhaps check in with your media director and see what the best process is for just getting all of your devices set to the background color you want, including many of the other settings that we'll go over as well. The next setting I wanted to go over is the show home button. So anytime you see this little um, admin icon, that means that you do not have a choice whether this setting is on or off. Uh, we've turned it on at the district level for one reason or the other. If it is something that you're not sure why it's on or you have questions about, you can always reach out to me and I can figure out why that's a default setting that we've got turned on. But this one in particular, show the home button, allows students when they're in Chrome, so I'm just gonna pop into Chrome quickly, they're gonna see this little home icon up here. And what that allows you to do is to, anytime students click that home icon, it takes them to a certain page that you've set up. So I have it set to Seesaw. Uh, anytime students want to quickly get to Seesaw, they can click that home button. But you can set that home button to any website you want. So if there's a website you have students visit frequently, you could set the home button to that website. Very similar to making a bookmark um, for students. So I'm going to go back into settings. And Right here, you can see it where I've typed in Seesaw as my home address, but you can certainly erase that and put in any website you want to correlate with that home icon. The next setting is show the bookmarks bar. I've got this turned off to maximize space. So when I go back into Chrome, usually you would see those bookmarks underneath the Omni bar. It's totally uh, dependent on your preferences. If you do want that setting turned on, you can certainly slide that over. And now you'll see when I go into Chrome, you can see all my bookmarks are underneath the Omni bar now. Personally, I like to turn that off because I feel like it maximizes space. So again, totally up to you. And the last couple of things in the appearance settings are font size and customizing fonts. So if you have a student that needs to see things larger or even with your littles, you can go in and increase the font size and you can see how it changed there. It does have a recommended for you, so you'll always know what you would go back to, uh, but you can kind of choose that per student. And then customizing fonts, just another area where you can increase the font size right here, and I can also select a font of my preference as well. Um, this is something that would take a lot of time to do on each of your devices, so again, um, thinking about this before the start of the school year and deciding if this is a setting you want to change on all of your devices would be good.